Hi everyone and welcome back! I'm Joanna and in this video I'll show you a ridiculously quick and easy way to make slime. As you can see, all you need is a plastic bottle and I'll show you exactly how much of each ingredient to put inside. Then all you have to do is shake it up and you get a perfect fluffy slime. There's no mixing, no stirring, and no cleaning up messy equipment. You can also use this method to make a no glue or clear slime, and that actually has a texture which is great for blowing bubbles. Before we jump into the recipe, this video is kindly sponsored by Survey Compare, which is a great website that lets you earn money by completing free surveys. This is actually great fun to do when you're just bored because you're literally getting paid just to give your opinion on different things. A lot of big companies want to know what potential customers think about their products or services, so they spend money on market research asking people just like you for their feedback. Survey Compare basically compiles all of these surveys into one place, making it super easy for you to pick and choose the ones that you want to do. So if you want to get started, just click the link below and be sure to check your email for the registration confirmation link. Survey Compare is completely flexible and there's no commitment, so you can do as many or as few surveys as you want. If you do end up doing a lot of surveys, then you can actually unlock better ones that pay more money, and some surveys even send you free gifts and free products to try out. The best part is you can work whenever and wherever you want. So if you happen to be at university or at home or waiting for someone and you have a few spare minutes, then you can just log on and start making some cash. Of course, you won't become a millionaire by doing this, but it's a really safe and easy way to earn some extra pocket money. Be sure to click the link below to go to Survey Compare, and without further ado, let's get started on our slime bottle. To make this, you'll need a small plastic bottle, a marker pen, some peel-off face masks or PVA glue, contact lens solution, and baking soda. Start by cutting off and removing the label. This method works great with any type of bottle as long as it has a fairly flat base. First, take your index and middle fingers and measure out the distance from the base, just like this. Then take your pinky finger and mark out a second line above the one you just drew. When I was filming this DIY for the first time, I actually made it far too complicated by measuring the distance with the ruler. Since the ratio of slime ingredients is always relative, I realized it's much easier to just use your fingers instead. So now let's start filling up the slime bottle. The first line shows you how much PVA content to put in, and the second line is for a slime activator. I'm going to start by squeezing some peel-off face mask inside, and for a small bottle like this, you'll need about 50 milliliters or about 6 single masks. I find that face masks tend to be quite concentrated, so I'm going to dilute mine with a bit of water until it reaches the first marking. Now I'm adding some contact lens solution until the mixture reaches the second line. Next, you can also add food coloring or glitter. And lastly, finish with half a teaspoon of baking soda. The chemical reaction will start as soon as the baking soda hits the mixture, so be sure to replace the lid as fast as you can and start shaking the bottle to mix everything thoroughly. This DIY was inspired by one of my recent videos where I made butter using the same method. Shaking a bottle is a much quicker alternative to mixing, and it also introduces lots of air into the mixture. This automatically gives you a very soft and fluffy slime. If all goes well, then you should feel the slime start to clump together and pull away from the sides of the bottle. If this doesn't happen, then I've also included some common problems that you might have at the end of this video and how to fix them. Once the slime is ready, just unscrew the cap and squeeze everything out. As mentioned earlier, all that shaking creates lots of air bubbles that makes the texture soft and stretchy.
This is great fun to play with, and if you have a straw, then you can even create slime bubbles like this. The size of the bottle is actually not that important in this DIY, so if you want to make more slime at once, then simply use a bigger one. Just measure out the same distance using your fingers, and be sure to add enough ingredients so everything reaches the lines. If you want to keep your slime softer for longer, then place it inside a small airtight container where the lid is actually touching the slime. This gets rid of any air pockets, which will cause the slime to dry up inside the box. And now I'll show you a glue-based bottle slime that's even easier to make. Just pour in some white or clear PVA glue until it reaches the first line. Then add contact lens solution to the second line, followed by a few drops of food coloring if you want. Finish with half a teaspoon of baking soda and then shake everything together. The slime should start coming together within 30 to 60 seconds of shaking. You'll notice that it starts making a different noise and you'll feel the lump of slime moving around inside the bottle. Another advantage of making slime in a bottle is that you don't have to get your finger sticky to test whether the slime is ready. If you can see it forming a perfect ball inside the bottle, then it's definitely good to play with and won't stick to your skin. Next up, here's a clear slime that I made using the same face mask recipe. This time, I simply left out the food coloring and I let the slime sit inside the bottle for two days. As you can see, the bubbles are starting to rise to the top, leaving a layer of perfect clear slime at the bottom. This still needs a few more days to turn completely transparent, but since I was running out of time filming this video, I'm just going to cut the bottle open right now to show you how it looks. You can make this slime using any type of clear peel-off face mask or clear PVA glue. And now let's move on to some troubleshooting tips. This DIY might look simple, but it actually took a lot of experimenting and fails before I came up with the final recipe. Here are some problems that I came across and how you can fix them. If you start shaking the bottle and the mixer turns foamy and frothy like this, then you've added too much baking soda. You just need to get rid of all the foam, and the slime itself is probably slightly overactivated, but it should still be okay to play with. If you decide to make the slime a second time, be sure to add less baking soda. The second problem that might come up is when your mixture looks like liquid even after lots of shaking. This means that it's underactivated, and you can easily fix this by unscrewing the lid and adding a tiny bit more contact lens solution or slime activator. Then shake it again and you should start feeling the mixture start to clump together. If it still feels liquid, then unscrew the lid and add a tiny pinch of baking soda. However, this should be the last option since baking soda can easily overactivate your mixture. If your slime still isn't working, then double check that you're actually using the correct ingredients. Not all brands of glue contain PVA, so that's the most common reason why slimes fail. If you're using face masks, then be sure it's a peel-off face mask and not any other type, because only peel-off masks contain PVA. You should also be careful not to dilute your face mask with too much water because that might not leave enough PVA for the chemical reaction to take place. 
The bottle slime recipe using face masks and contact lens solution is super safe to make with children since all the ingredients are dermatologically tested. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have lots of fun doing this. If you like this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to both of my channels, Macaroon and Cute Life Hacks. And be sure to follow me on Instagram under my username Macaroon. If you shake the bottle long enough, then this kind of ends up looking like mozzarella cheese. Of course, if your slime becomes hard after a while, then you can always deactivate it using lemon juice, vinegar or glycerine. I'm Joanna, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!